Formula One on race day. When the lights go out, it's as much about mathematics as it is about mechanics. Before the race, the engineers will be looking through all the laps completed by the drivers and performing many calculations to come up with the best race strategy. Tire management, fuel load, race distance, car and driver weight all have to be taken into account to ensure peak performance. By the time the checkered flag drops, the weight of the car plus the driver less any fuel has to be a minimum of 642 kilograms. Every circuit is different. However, the average fuel burnt by an F1 car on a lap is 2.5 kilograms or 3.3 liters. Let's say it's a 56 lap race. That means 2.5 kilograms per lap times 56 laps equals 140 kilograms of fuel for the race distance. Adding this to the minimum car weight of 642 kilograms, the car now weighs 782 kilograms or 22% heavier than when it was last used in qualifying for the ultimate lap time performance. Confused yet? Well, stick with me for a while longer. There will also be a small built-in safety buffer, normally an extra lapse worth of fuel to avoid moments like this. Right at the end, Nigel Mansell pushing, pushing in this steering heat, because surely that's too much even for him. But be warned, any extra weight comes at a cost in performance. As speed increases, so does the stress on the tyres and the engine, meaning drivers may be asked to turn the engine performance down, conserving fuel, protecting the tyres and reducing the stress in the engine. Doing this, the likelihood of finishing the race is increased. Tyre performance and durability also come into play. How many pit stops and which lap should you stop? During the race, each team has legions of tacticians analysing the race lap by lap to see how the strategy has to change before the end of the race. Considering that a pit stop has an overall loss time of approximately 18 seconds, those fresh tyres have to make up that loss time. Get this wrong by pitting too early or too late and it's very difficult to make up that loss time. If the team has got everything just right, it's down to the driver's skill, reliability and a little bit of luck to see the car arrive at the chequered flag. And if they're really lucky, they could be on the podium.